Hey guys, what is going on? It's Constantine, and uh, just before the video, I want to say, um, lots of my videos haven't been appearing in my subscriber inboxes, and um, if you want to see when I upload a new video, you should follow me on Twitter at SmartCodComs, and uh, I want to see how many of you guys are active, and this is the only time I'll ever ask for a like again, I promise, but if you're active, leave a rating just so I know, and a comment for future videos to see what you want to see. Hey guys, what is going on? It's Constantine, aka SmartCod Commentaries, and this is my Smart to Smart Saturday commentary. Um... As you can see, you got some COD4 in the background, uh, 1v1 against me and Headshot, and um, his name is Headshot on PSN, and uh, starting off with some awful aim, and uh, yeah, Headshot, you can leave a comment below, even though like, your YouTube username is like Vince J. Nose or something, I don't even know. But um, yeah, so um, recently, I don't know if you guys have known, but there's been like a, a solar flare on the on the sun, and lots of people are like, oh my god, it's a solar flare, we're all gonna die. No, 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 no one's gonna die. Um, so I decided, like, you know, hmm, let me, like, look into how the sun works and all that stuff, and, uh, I figured I'd make a commentary about it for my smart Saturday commentary. And, um, so, pretty much the sun, as you, as the, uh, the more bright of you have noticed, uh, is light, and, uh, it provides the light that we can see by, and it, it, it created life on Earth and everything, and, uh, it can also make you blind if you look at it, and, um, the Earth can fit into, uh, into the sun, uh, over a million times, uh, over a million earth things, earth shaped, earth size, a million earths could fit inside the sun, and, uh, at the core of the sun, it, it's so, it's so strong, uh, it's just, so, like, the gravity, uh, that pulls everything inwards in the strong, because it's such a large mass, the gravity that pulls it all in creates such a high, um, such a high pressure and such intense gravity that the pressure is high enough to uh, to force atoms of, of hydrogen to come together in like nuclear in uh, I think it's fusion yeah in nuclear f nuclear nuclear fusion <laughs> and uh, that's that's what actually we tried to to mimic I guess um, in the uh, nuclear reactors we have here to produce energy because a huge amounts of energy are produced and um, so that's pretty much how that works and pretty much if you think about it, the sun is just a regular just a regular star, uh, according to the the rest of the universe. And but uh, the thing that makes it like um, unique and makes it different for us is because it's so close to us. Uh, I believe it's like eight light years away. Uh, no, light, eight light minutes away. So the the light you're seeing coming from the sun was emitted from the sun eight minutes ago. Uh, eight light minutes ago. And uh, yeah, U usually like the other stars take like millions of light years to to expand here. But um. Uh, onward, I, I want to talk about the sunspots, I mean, not sunspots, <laughs> damn it, the, um, the solar flares and all that stuff, and pretty much, uh, the sunspots, uh, become the solar flares when they explode, uh, pretty much sun, sunspots are the, the, like, the cooler areas of the sun, if you've ever seen a picture of the sun, it's kind of like, it's, there's like some, like, darker looking spots, and those are the solar flares, uh, solar, <laughs> god damn, those are the sunspots, I'm getting it mixed up, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, the darker parts of the sun, when you look at a picture of it, those like those dark, they look kind of like blackish. Those are the sunspots, and the sunspots occur as a part of an eleven-year cycle, I think, uh, in the sun in the solar cycle, where they uh, they increase and decrease in a, in a, in amounts in in just numbers that they have, and um, it's when these sunspots that uh, explode uh, that solar flares are created, and and uh, it's just like the solar, like all the particles from like from the sun are shot out miles and miles outwards, and uh, it can cause like some some like interesting um, effects, and uh, it's this, like the solar wind, and uh, it can cause some interesting effects on the Earth's uh, magnetic fields, which is interesting, and also produces the auroras and the uh, like the northern lights in Alaska, and uh, however all of this does require energy, as it says here. Uh, I'm reading. I read a little article from online. I'll, I'll probably probably post a link in the description if you guys want to read more about it yourselves. But um, all this requires energy, uh, which is in a limited supply. So eventually, the sun will run out of fuel. I'm assuming it's gonna just, just burn out. But uh, the the sun has an estimated enough uh, has enough hydrogen, which it which is which it fuses together to uh, to create its energy. Uh, has enough has enough hydrogen to burn for 10 billion years, uh, but it, it has already burned for 4.5 billion years, so it has about 5 billion years left, and after those 5 billion years are up, the sun will expand into a red giant, which will encompass the Earth, 
and then uh, it'll cool into a white dwarf, then turn into a black dwarf, and then it will go away. But that takes billions of years, so we here on Earth are going to be safe. Uh, no worries at all. And uh, watch this game-winning kill here, just with the time running out. Yeah, so the Earth will expand into a red giant uh, that will encompass the Earth, and we will all die when that happens, and then it will cool into a black dwarf over the course of a billion years. So I'll talk to you guys later. Pop, 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 peace.